YouTube, what's up? Riz here with Frogs Angels, back with another NFL Draft podcast covering news and rumors for the NFL Draft. And at the Combine, there's all kinds of rumors and stuff like that floating around here. So the workouts start tomorrow, but mainly just media interviews going on now, and that gives us a lot of information that I want to go over. Also later today, there will be a free agency video covering the rumors and news for free agency and trades. Um pretty good idea a lot of info pretty good idea where where free agents might land and pretty good stuff but uh, for this one we're going to cover the draft and the combine starting with a few players I want to talk about Taco Charlton kind of on the rise Um, teams view him uh, higher than maybe some some of the experts have been moving up the board but some teams view him as a top 10 pick which I don't view him as a top 10 pick excellent player but if he goes over a guy like Derek Barnett I I'm uh I'm going to be shocked. I mean, I have Derek Barnett clearly above Taco Charlton, even though Taco Charlton's a great player. But from talking to teams, he is on the rise. He's viewed as better than what we've kind of viewed him as so far. Uh, Cam Robinson, Alabama offensive lineman, kind of been talking about him a lot. I've never been that high on him. And he's kind of, stock has been kind of been going down if you hear experts or interviews from teams because he's inconsistent. And because they're not sure if he can play tackle right away, might have to play guard. So that was like last week, last few weeks, news about Cam Robinson. Also, a reason he was starting to go down was because uh, character concerns got in trouble off the field before. But he interviewed with teams, and everybody had nothing but positive things to say about his interview. So that can raise him back up. So maybe we can say stock is maybe now neutral because it was on a fall. Now it's a little bit up, but on the field is what's going to get him up even more. So that's a positive for Cam Robinson. Another guy, Solomon Thomas. Um, teams view him, most teams view him as a mid-first-round player. Uh, that's where I had him. If you've watched my videos, my podcasts, mock drafts, I had him mid-first round pretty much the whole way. Some people started to move him in the top 10. I didn't see it. I think he's an excellent player. Production wasn't always there. But most teams view him as a mid-first rounder, which isn't surprising to me. But there's going to be some teams that are higher on him. We know that. Uh, there's going to be a few teams that have different opinions. Some teams really like him very much. Uh, another guy I want to talk about, Christian McCaffrey. Some team, There's teams that really like him, and then there's some teams that are worried about the amount of carries he's going to be able to, to have a game running in between the tackles or inside runs. Can he handle it? Can he handle more than like 10 carries? So basically that brings it to can he be a starting running back? Can he be, can he be on the field a lot? Uh, Some teams question that. Um, I think he's a late first-round player. I think a lot of teams like him, though. His receiving ability in today's NFL is big time, so I think most teams will like him. Uh, Another thing I noticed is I knew he wasn't 6'1". I knew that, but he was listed at 6'1", and some some, uh, spots that I've seen, and he is after the measuring at the combine, he's 5'11", so I was a little off there. I thought he was about 6'5", 5'11", pretty close. That was another thing I wanted to bring up. A little small thing. Another guy, Fournette, weighing at 240. Big boy. Uh, expected him to weigh a little bit under that, but it's not like he's out of shape or anything, so it's not really too much of a concern for me. The 40-yard dash is going to be interest, interesting. He expects to run the 4-4s, which would be ridiculous uh, for weighing that. 4-4s would be ridiculous. The record for running backs that weigh over 240 – um, is Derrick Henry with a 4-5-4. So, I mean, I expect Fournette to be close to that, probably beat it, and that would be very, very impressive. Another guy, 40-time, um, is a question mark. Mike Williams, teams, scouts, they expect him to run around a 4-6-5, which they want better. They need better, they said. 4-6-5 would not be good at all for him. He's more of a big big receiver, downfield, jump up and catch the ball, which is a great thing, but he needs to be faster than 4-6-5. I think he will be, but we will see. He needs to, he needs to beat that. Another another name that's been floating around at the combine is Sam Darnold, who is USC's quarterback, is not in the draft this year, and a lot of teams keep bringing him up. He's going to be in the draft next year, as expect is what it's expected, and he's going to be the top pick next year, is what it's what's expected right now. Um, but you don't really hear teams bring up a guy that's not in this year's draft that much the last time you heard it was Andrew Luck before he came came out people were excited about him the next year 
that's kind of the same thing that's going on with Sam Darnold, future number one overall pick. The question is, teams are, I don't think they're going to wait for him. They can't just plan on waiting. I know some fans think that, like, we're not going to, let's not get a quarterback this year. Let's, we're going to get Darnold next year. But you have to realize that you have to play to lose. You have to be guaranteed to get the first overall pick. Nobody thinks like that. It's pretty insane if they did. So I don't think anybody can play like that. If you need a quarterback, I don't know if you, I'm not saying you have to get him in the draft, but get a quarterback somehow. Oh, another question that's been asked a lot is who's the next Dak Prescott? Ton, a ton of people asking that question. There really is none. I mean, it's really the quarterback that goes to the best offensive line in football and has weapons around him. That's really who it's going to be. So Dak was pretty, even though I, I like Dak, very good player. I thought he was pro ready for the most part, and I was higher on him than most experts. Um, but he got pretty lucky where he went, and he was able to start. But a guy that I think is a similar play style is Gerard Evans from Virginia Tech, but very raw, needs a lot of work, so nowhere near as pro ready as Dak Prescott was. Um, as far as talent, Brad Kaye, I think, is an early third round guy, could sneak into the second because of the value of the quarterback position. And I mean, he, he needs a lot of work too, so it depends on the team. Um, Chad Kelly is a guy that's going to drop because of character concerns, but he may be at that skill level. But again, depends on the team and if he gets a chance to play. And then a sleeper I have that uh, is kind of mobile like Dak is Josh Dobbs, who can go fourth or fifth round. So those are some names I guess I can compare to Dak, but really there is none. If, it, if a, one of these quarterbacks goes to a team where he's going to start and he has, a, he has a good supporting cast, then I guess... There's your next Dak Prescott. So we'll have to, we'll have to wait and see on that. Um, as far as team rumors, the Cleveland Browns, uh, Trubisky is on their radar. Um, I don't know if that means at the first overall pick. I would doubt it. It's pretty sure it's going to be Miles Garrett. I'm 99.9% sure at this point, Miles Garrett. So they think they're going to get Trubisky at their next pick. Uh, they may have to trade up. Are they trying to throw teams off? Are they trying to get a trade partner? I don't know, but they said Trubisky is on their radar. Niners. Seem to really like Reuben Foster, think very highly of him. Uh, second overall pick, maybe a little early, but he's an excellent player. And in a John Lynch interview, he could not stop raving about Deshaun Kaiser. Um, his interview went very well with them as well. So it sounds like they really like Kaiser. Is that a smokescreen trying to throw teams off? I don't know. Um, the second pick is a little too early for me for Kaiser, but Kaiser does fit with them. I think the Niners are in full rebuild mode. Kaiser is a full rebuild mode quarterback can reach his potential and end up being the best quarterback in this class but that's far away so I don't have him as the best quarterback in this class right now um Panthers Panthers uh in interviews with their staff they made it pretty clear they want a running back um Jonathan Stewart's been a great running back but injured and they think they can do better on the running game to help Cam out there so pretty obvious from hearing the Panthers staff they want staff that they want a running back um Going to discuss this next one more in the in the next video, free agency primer video. But uh, Eagles and Titans are involved with the Saints in a Brandon Cooks trade, wide receiver from the Saints. Um, Titans seem to be the favorite. A draft pick or multiple draft picks will be involved. We're going to talk about this more in the next video. But is it worth giving up a first rounder for Brandon Cooks? I think he's an excellent player. But John Ross, a similar player, is sitting there and – Possibly can go in that range through that mid first round range. So we'll see what gets done. Nothing can happen until March 9th. Titans seem to be the favorite right now. What will they trade? We'll discuss this more in the next video. So please uh, check that out when it's out. And one more thing I want to talk about Giants. Um, Giants staff and everybody feels like Eli has two to three more quality years left. So what does that mean? Do they got to start looking for a future quarterback to play behind him. I think we can't rule it out, and they can they can draft a young guy this year if they don't like this class, which most teams don't. They can wait till next year. There they have that. They're a team that can wait for a guy. That's a team that can wait because Eli's obviously going to be the starter for a few more years still, and they believe two to three quality years. So stay tuned for the free agency video, which will be out later. Video will be posted on Twitter as well as here. So follow our Twitter, frogs underscore angels, other news on there as well. And that'll do it. Goodbye.